Welcome to another one of my flight sim videos. This one's going to be slightly different than uh, what I have been doing. Uh, if you look on the screen here, <clears throat> I'm planning a seven continent tour of the world. So I want to uh, touch down and take off in at least once in each of the seven continents, which if you notice here also includes Antarctica. And another caveat is that I want to fly the uh, Citation Longitude uh, jet. And that range is limited by uh, <clears throat> so many miles, so it's not like I can just cross the Pacific uh, in one, one shot. I have to stop and refuel. Same thing uh, going to Antarctica. I have, to, I, I have picked the closest spot closest airfield and that is a place called the Taniete Rodolfo Marsh Airport. It's on the King George Island of Antarctica. It's basically a remote outpost in the northernmost part of Antarctica. In fact the airport is so small it doesn't even show up on the uh, flight simulator world map uh, flight planning. So I found it on Sky Vector and noticed it was probably the closest uh, place for me to land. I figured I would at least give it a shot. Now on the flight simulator world map it does show a beacon and a, and a VOR station there. So at least I can navigate to that general area and try to land. I went and looked at the area in Google Maps and this is what it showed. There was a, an airstrip and two buildings that I've highlighted. Uh, the highlights are there so that uh, when I show you the same image in the simulator you will have some perspective. So I figured okay I will fly and land on an airstrip. That should work right? Well not quite. As you can see here in the flight simulator itself, there is no airstrip. Uh, the, the buildings are there, and where the airstrip would be, even if I did try to land, look at the, the, uh, the terrain. It, it's kind of rolling hills, so it's not even a level airstrip in the simulator. So this is where I decided to land out close to the shoreline, where it's uh, relatively flatter. Actually, it's pretty flat, and it would give me enough room to land. Now, keep in mind, this is a uh, longitude business jet, so not you know it's not really a a bush plane, but I will do my best to to try to land there. So, what I planned on doing was to do a reconnaissance mission to the area. Uh, just make sure this was a feasible place to, to land. I'm not starting the seven continent tour for, for a little while yet. I'm just doing my homework uh, ahead of time and planning. So let's uh, hop in the plane and I'll show you what this area looks like. All right, here I am turning off a base onto a final approach. I will be coming in on final from the north and will attempt to land along the right on the shoreline just just inside of it I'll be coming right over the water so wish me luck landing gear landing gear landing uh, ignore the landing, landing gear warning landing gear. I basically concentrating on where I'm going to land first and then I'll uh, then I'll put them down. So here, here I am when I was approaching that shoreline. I think I see where I can land. Uh, just to the right of that little hill. So let me go ahead and take care of the landing gear. Alright, see if I can set this thing down. It's here. Ooh, here we go. Ooh. Okay, oh, okay. 
Let's put a little reverse thrust. Help slow me down. I don't want to keep going off into the water on the other side there. Okay, we're slowing down. Turn off the thrust and hit the brakes. All right. Ooh, we made it. Hopefully we'll be able to take off, but uh, let me set the brake. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Clean the flaps. Let's take a, take a little stroll outside, see where we are. So there's, there's where we landed. Now, if you remember earlier on the, the images with the buildings, there's the buildings. The, the airstrip should be right, just right next to those buildings, but there is no airstrip parallel to the road here. And if there were, it looks like it would be a little, little hilly and rolling. But uh, here we go down to this little base here. So it does have a, I guess it has a decent little community. And let's turn around and look back the other way. There we go. Yeah, it has roads. I'm assuming in the winter time it's all frozen over and everything's white. But yeah, this is kind of the perspective of what I showed you earlier and where the airstrip should be. And even if it were, it's up on the hill and it's just not, a, not the best place. So this big area down here by the shore is pretty flat. So that's why I chose it. And uh, so I think we need to go up a little bit further, turn around and, and try to see if we can uh, take off. So let's release the parking brake, give it a little bit of throttle and let's taxi down down a bit. Good thing this isn't muddy and moist sand or else I would definitely be stuck. So if I am able to take off out of here, this would qualify me as uh, landing in a separate continent on my seven continent tour. So let's keep our fingers crossed, make sure we're, we have enough, enough real estate to, to take off. All right, let me turn this around a bit more. Looks like there's plenty of room, but we'll soon find out. That ridge up on the right there, that's where the, uh, the airport should be, but is not. So let me do flaps in the second notch and <clears throat> make sure we're good to go. I need to release the parking brake again. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, throttles at 50%. Both engines appear steady. Let's go. Rotate. Positive rate of climb. Gear is coming up. Well, that was enough real estate to take off. Looks like I found my Antarctica spot on my seven continent tour. I just gotta make sure I don't wait until it's winter and everything's frozen over at this landing spot. That would make it uh, worse or next to impossible. So, thank you for watching.